your goal for math review is I find area and perimeter. So you are finding two things. You are finding both the area and the perimeter. So if we have a shape, like a square, the area is the inside. How much space does it take up? The perimeter is, if you started on the outside and you walked all the way around it, how far is that? So the area is the inside and the perimeter is the outside. So let's say you have a shape. We'll start with a square because that's what we just had. Now a square, you'll remember all the sides the same. So if we have 10 inches here, and we know this is also 10 inches and this is also 10 inches and this is also 10 inches. So to find the area, the inside, I need to do length times width or 10 times 10. And 10 times 10 is 100. And because our units are inches, it would be 100 inches. So my area would be 100 inches. Then perimeter. Now I need to figure out if Ms. Johnson walked all the way around this, how far would it be? So I would add this all up. So 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 10 is 30, plus 10 is 40. So my perimeter would be 40 inches. Okay, so that's for a square. Now, if you have, let's say, a rectangle where all the sides are not the same, changes it, but just a little bit. So here's my rectangle. And let's say this is four feet and this is 12 feet. So to find the area, again, area is going to be length times width. So top times side. So I'm going to do four times 12. And four times 12 is 48, and my, in, my units are feet, so I would put feet. And then perimeter is when you add up all the sides. So I know this is also four feet, and this is also 12 feet. So I do 12 plus 12, that's 24, plus four is 28, plus four more is 32 feet. So my area is 48 feet, and my perimeter is 32 feet. So as you do your work this week, make sure that you find both the perimeter and the area using these strategies. Good luck, scholars.